एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now in order to describe uh, what is a complex analysis of the simple harmonic oscillator we know that in the real world so there are the real parts and also we know that there are imaginary things are also available that means when the oscillations are associated with the pendulums so these oscillations comes to end after some time so that means some damping forces are also available with the oscillations or with the pendulums so sir in order to describe the damping oscillations Firstly we will describe the complex analysis of simple harmonic oscillator If you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by S John Publishing link is provided in the description box So welcome to S John Academy myself Dr Narendra Kaur so let us uh, start with this that is a complex analysis of simple harmonic oscillator now what is a complex analysis so firstly as its name indicated the simple harmonic oscillations they are not simple to understand so we know that when we are describing this simple harmonic oscillations so in terms of simple pendulum now if this is a motion of simple pendulum now when some force is applied to this pendulum it will start oscillating now if this is the x direction over here that means this pendulum that will start oscillating in the x direction uh, one time its motion is along the positive x axis and some uh, so one time its motion is along the negative x axis that means the pendulum that will oscillating about its mean position now if this is a mean position now it will oscillate about this direction now after some time we know that due to presence of restoring force its motion is damped over here that means that it will stop after some time now that means this motion is not simple so that means this is not a simple motion so there is a complex motion so this most such kind of motions are known as complex analysis so now the complex analysis that can be done mathematically over here so that means uh theoretically you can understand over here the when the there is a motion of pendulum or you can say that when we applied force to this spring and if this is a mass of the body and we applied force over here after some time this body on the application of force there will occur some displacement that means after the displacement so so this will be the final position of the body when the force is applied over here now as soon as you release the force this body that will tries to come to its original position to its mean position or you can say that the equilibrium or stable position same with the pendulum that means when its oscillations are started over here it will start vibrating or it start oscillating about its mean position now as soon as the applied force it will effect its effects will become zero then this pendulum or we can we can see that its motion it will come to its rest position that means its motion that will be damped over here now so this is a uh, mathematically you can say that the experimentally concept of this complex analysis now in order to describe it mathematically how it works how mathematically you can calculate this motion of this damped oscillator now you can say that we can know that the simple harmonic oscillator is also a damped oscillator mean as soon as the applied force is removed from the bodies they will regain their original position so their original positions will be regained but we know that now if k is a spring constant over here after some time when you continuously apply applied force to the spring after the release of force it will come back to its original position again you applied the force then again it will come back to the original position of when the force is zero over here that means this spring that will lose its elasticity so now that can be calculated in terms of mathematically we will calculate over here what is the value of displacement and the phasor value over here now we know that the force associated with the body f that can be given by ma 
and this mass into acceleration that is equals to kx. Now this is according to the Hooke's law. So according to Hooke's law, this is storing force over f that is directly proportional to x and we know that f that can be given by minus k into x over here. So that means the restoring force that will act in the opposite direction to the displacement over here. Again, when we solve, we solve this equation here, this is a solution of this. So, because this is the second order differential equation, so that can be calculated over here. So, we know that it will become dx square by dt square plus omega square into x equals to 0. And what is omega here? Omega is the under root k by m. Now, this is a solution of this value over here. What is A? A is the amplitude and omega t plus phi that is called the phase. And what is phi over here? Phi is known as phase constant. Now, phi is known as phase constant and on which it will depend. It will depend upon the cycle where we start its motion. Now, we know that in order to calculate the value over here, so dx by dt. Now, firstly, the velocity of this damped oscillation or you can say that the complex analysis, its velocity that can be given by dx by dt that is equals to this one. Now, differentiate this value with respect to t. We know that the differentiation of cos that is equals to minus sign. So, here after differentiation of this displacement with respect to time, we will calculate, we can calculate its velocity. So, velocity that can be given by dx by dt that is equals to this one. Now, again, we know that the acceleration of this moving body that is given by what is acceleration that is again equals to dv by dt or you can say that that is equals to d square x by dt square. So, that means double differentiating the displacement over here we will get acceleration that is equals to d square x by dt square again the differentiation of sine that is equals to cos. So, that will become cos omega t plus phi. Now, this can be written as minus a omega naught square into x over here. Now, again, this is the value of x. So, a is x by a. Now, we know that. So, this will become, so dx square by dt square, that will be equals to minus omega naught square into x. So, that means the acceleration dx by dt square, that is omega naught square into x, that will be equal equal to 0. So, that means now this solution that is completely satisfying the given equation and on comparing these two, these two equations that means when we compare this equation with the, this equation we will get omega naught. What is omega naught over here? That is a angular frequency for the restoring force. So, that means omega is the angular frequency of the restoring force. So, according to complex analysis so, what are the complex number over here? Here are the complex numbers. That means when we are taking the analysis as per the complex number. So, we know that the complex number that can be written as i times this one. So, now what is omega? Omega, so that is known as the angular frequency. What is theta? Theta is a displacement over here. So, theta is also known as the angular displacement. Now, there is a linear displacement. So, you can write this as i times omega x. What is Z? Z is the complex number over here. It is a displacement. So, it which included the real part as well as the imaginary part. Now, depending upon these solutions. So, again you can calculate dz by dx and then calculate dz by dx square. On calculating these value from here, you can directly calculate omega that is equals to under root k by m. That means when there is a complex analysis, that means uh, as per the real numbers, the acceleration, angular frequency, they are same as well when you calculated the complex analysis of the given system. So, the simple harmonic, in the simple harmonic oscillation, so that means in the simple harmonic oscillation, when the system is moved, when the force is applied on the bodies, that means when this force is applied on this body, so this force is, this is a mass of the body is m, that means the restoring force which is acting in the opposite direction and the displacement is acting in this direction, they are opposite to each other 
and after some time when the applied force is zero this body that will come back to its original position so such kind of motion is known as a simple harmonic oscillation and when based upon the complex complexity of the equation that means when there is a complex analysis there comes a real part as well as a imaginary part the angular frequency in the both of the cases that will be same so that means the angular frequency when we calculate it in both the cases this angular frequency that is equals to here omega that is equals to under root k by m so what is k over here so that is known as a spring constant and m is a mass that is a mass of the body now we will describe the factors on which the angular frequency of the body or angular frequency of the waves that will depend so the factors on which angular frequency of oscillations or the angular frequency of simple harmonic waves that will depends so now firstly it will depend upon the spring constant we know that when the spring constant is higher then omega that will be higher over here but that will be in the limits because if the omega or k that is very large over here then the in some times that omega the body will not move that means if the spring constant is very large that means it is very difficult to move the body because the spring displacement that will be very small so it it is very difficult for us to move the spring so that means that will be in the limits also now next it also depend upon the mass of the body so second is a dependency that will depend upon the mass of the body now we know that higher the mass of the body smaller will be its displacement that means it is very difficult uh, for us to move the body from one position to the another position higher force that will be applied so automatically angular frequency that will be very small that means the waves which are associated with the body so they are very small so now when we correlate this with the real life examples we know that all the bodies they are having the waves associated with it now when the mass of the body that is very large now if m that is very large then omega that will be very small so in the real life you can say that these simple harmonic oscillations or the waves they are not seen by us but the waves are associated with the body with a smaller thickness that means if m is very large you now if m is very high the automatically omega that will be very small that means omega is small so that means in the real life you can't see these waves which are associated with the moving with the heavy bodies so these waves that cannot be calculated so that means in order to calculate the as uh, angular frequency of the oscillations which are associated with a simple harmonic motion or the simple harmonic oscillator firstly the spring constant that will be in the limits or you can say that it's not too small if it is very small then the body can move freely then the restoring force that will be negligibly small so that means the body that will see then the spring constant that will be in the limits on it is uh, having the some higher value and mass of the body that will be also within the limits so that it is quite easy for the body to move after the application of force and we can see the force uh, waves which are associated with the bodies or the simple harmonic oscillations that can be calculated over here now we will go for the short break now till now we have studied what is the a uh, complex analysis of the simple harmonic oscillation and how its angular frequency that will be uh, correlated with the spring constant and mass of the body after the break we will study what is a damped harmonic oscillator now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep s chand academy brings detailed lectures based on aicte curriculum as per the new education policy 2020 So do not forget to subscribe to the S Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S Chand Academy. Happy learning. Welcome back to S Chand Academy. Now before break we have studied 
uh, we studied what is a uh, complex analysis of simple harmonic oscillation oscillator and how the oscillations they are get damped and how the restoring force that is uh, applicable to the spring constant and value of spring constant and mass they are related to angular frequency of the body now we will start the uh, topic that is a damped harmonic oscillator how the oscillations are damped for the os uh, oscillator so that now that will be studied over here now what is a damped oscillator now damped oscillator is a system having one degree of freedom now what is the meaning of this word that is a one degree of freedom so degree of freedom is if we are considering here the motion of the body along the one direction only that means the body here that can move along the positive x axis or the negative x axis so that's why it has only one degree of freedom that means now this body when the force is applied to this body it not able to move either in the y axis or in the z axis that means it can move only in the one direction so this is the meaning over here one degree of freedom degree of freedom means the direction along which the body can move freely when the force is applied on it freely means after the without force it can't move when the force is applied on the body so it can move in the one direction only now we want to calculate over here what is the meaning of damping over here damping means we know that when the force is applied on the body after some time it will regain its original position so now in order to calculate its original city or when it come back to its original position some damper that is applied over here that means it will push the body back to its original position the applied force will make the body to move along the x axis that means now the applied force will make the body to move in the a positive x axis that means the displacement of the body that will takes place along the positive x axis why due to this damping motion that will act in the opposite direction and the restoring force also acts in the opposite direction over here so they are opposite to each other now we know that the motion of the body that is a complexity over here that there is a complex analysis now when the complex analysis applied so the motion of the body or you can say that the wave function is associated with the bodies now we know that the waves which are associated with the body they are their function or you can say that their displacement that can be represented in terms of wave function which is known as psi over here so that means instead of writing x over here x is what x is a displacement but in case of waves we know that here if this is a wave over here now in case of wave the displacement of the body that can be represented in terms of um, some wave function so that is psi now what is wave function psi over here so psi that can be represented as a e is per eta omega t what is a here that is the amplitude of the wave and eta means now this psi that is a complex quantity over here so that is related to complex analysis of the given simple harmonic oscillator so that means due to complexity of this the displacement that can be uh, replaced by the term psi over here now again this is a restoring force or so you can say that the elastic force which acts in the opposite direction again due to damping motion this force is also act in the opposite direction and the applied force or you can see that due to application of force the body will displace along the positive x axis over here so this is the uh, forces which are acting on the given system and this is known as a damped oscillator motion now next is a so what kind of the forces are acting on the body so now this is a restoring force that is a minus kx which is acting in the opposite direction to the applied force or to the displacement and the damping force that is given by this relation over here now what is p over here that is a coefficient of damping force that means the damper is applied over here and due to presence of this component after some time the body will regain its original position so this is known as a damping component now we know that when the this restoring force and the damping force now they will balance to each other in order to the in order to move the body for some displacement so that means the displacement will be there 
when this this is now this is a restoring force this is a damping force over here and that is the force which is applied to the body so they will balance to each other after some time or you can say that when there is a equilibrium position so at that time this force will balance to the applied force so this is given by the now this relation now what is the solution of this again that will become Now again, this is a second order differential equation. So now the solution of the second order differential equation that is also written as like x is equals to x naught e raised to the minus alpha t. What is alpha over here? That is a complex constant over here. Now again, substituting these value, differentiate this with respect to x, uh, with respect to t over here, we will get this is the first derivative and that is a second derivative. Now substituting these values, we will get now. Again, substitute this value over here. Now, we know that we will substitute the value of dx by dt is a, this one. That is the a square x. Now, this is the simple x over here. So, this will be equals to a alpha square into x. That is equals to minus alpha into x. Now, substitute these values over here. Then, we will get the equation will terms like this. So, m alpha square minus alpha b plus kx equal to 0. Now, this is a, we know that so this is an equation like second order equation and the solution of this equation that can be given by like this. So alpha that means, now the, it has two coefficient. One is the alpha 1, second one is the alpha 2 coefficient. So alpha 1 and alpha 2 coefficient that can be calculated by now the roots of this equation. So that can be calculated like this. So that is equals to this one. Now, so one is a positive component, one second one is a negative component. So, the positive component that can be written over here. So, alpha 1 that is equals to b plus now the alpha 2 now this is the alpha 1 and alpha 2 over here. Now, what is alpha 1 in terms? Alpha 1 it will this represents the damping constant damping constant means this constant is related to the how the motion of the body that will come to its rest after some time so due to presence of this damping or due to presence of this damping forces there comes a complex analysis and due to this complexity of there that means after some time when the force is applied on the body, it will start oscillating to its mean position. But after time t, it will come to rest. So this damping force that is related to the how the displacement is directly uh, is continuously decreasing when the body starts moving and the restoring force acts in the opposite direction. Now what is alpha 2 here? Alpha 2 that is related to the spring constant. Or you can say that it is related to the restoring force. Now the restoring force always acts in the opposite direction to the displacement of the body. Now we know that when we summarize this, the complete solution of this equation. Now that can be written as we know that this is a second order differential equation. So its displacement that is given by this relation. So the complete displacement xt that can be written as a1 e raised to minus alpha 1 t plus a2 e raised to minus alpha 2 t what is alpha 1 and alpha 2 over here alpha 1 and alpha 2 these are the solution over here so alpha 1 that is a positive one component which represent or which is due to the damping force constant and alpha 2 that is due to the spring constant or you can say that due to the restoring force component so due to presence of or the combination of these two components they acts in the opposite direction to the applied force or you can say that they acts opposite to the uh, displacement of the body or displacement of the body with mass m and now the complete solution that can be written over here so substituting the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 over here now when the values are substituting so this is a complex or you can see that the displacement which is related to the damping uh, oscillator over here so this is the 
displacement which is related to the now the displacement of our damped harmonic oscillator now why this is known as damped harmonic oscillator because we know that here now this e part as soon as the value of time passes t goes on increasing this part that will be goes on decreasing that means the displacement that is the directly proportional to time over here so then again when the t is goes on increasing this part will goes on decreasing over here so that means as the time when we plotted over here with the time and if this is the x now as per the now if this is a time t and that is a displacement so it will goes on decreasing so that means this displacement will goes on decreasing as the time passes so that is related to the damped harmonic oscillator while when there is a classical mechanics so classically it is seen that this will remain constant with respect to time t but that will never happen so that is a classically harmonic oscillator so classically this displacement will remain same as the time passes but we know that when the time goes on increasing so due to presence of component that is a a e raised to minus alpha 1t plus b a raised to minus alpha 2t now due to presence of these two component these are known as a damping component so due to that the displacement will goes on decreasing as the time passes that means after some time the body that will comes to rest so this is a uh, damped harmonic oscillator so we studied how the with the as soon as a time passes the displacement of the harmonic oscillator that goes on decreasing that means it is damped motion over here thank you if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by s john publishing Link is provided in the description box. If you found our video interesting, please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.